YouTube, come on in, sit by the fire, join me today. We're going to go ahead and go over a ton of news that just dropped in Throne and Liberty. Now, before we go over the Halloween event, which is going to be most likely coming up either this Thursday, if not, it'll come out next Thursday, most likely. We were about a week behind Korea, and I believe Korea just got their event today. So most likely we'll be getting it between this week or next week. A couple little things I wanted to go over. Since I'm in this room, let's go ahead and go over this real fast. For those of you guys that don't know, you can go ahead and grab a Kraken fishing rod right here if you're very lucky. I believe the best way to do it is to just run one hours and then you have the highest amount of chances to grab these blue bags. Let me know if two hours or four hours is better. I've been running one hours and been getting a few of them. Haven't gotten lucky yet, but I believe that's a pretty good way of doing it. <clears throat> Another thing I want to go over before we go ahead and get into the Halloween event is the shop. If you guys don't know, there's only two days remaining for the new Halloween skins that literally just came out this week. So make sure if you guys want to buy these new skins or if you want to buy any of these weapon skins, you do it within the next two days because they're going to be gone apparently so fast. And brand new Halloween skins will be coming in, as well as this Silent Outlaw package. So I recommend, actually, if you guys want a good Halloween skin, I actually really like this skin. I would recommend this skin, as well as these skins, if you like the edgy look. Now, other than that, let's go ahead and show you guys what's going to be coming up in the Halloween event. Okay, and here we are on the Throne and Liberty Korean YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and watch this together. This is going to be the Halloween event that just came out in Korea. Now, as you can see, the whole entire city is going to transform into a festive mood. Let's go ahead and pause right there, actually. These are going to be the brand new skins. So if you guys think any of these skins look better than the skin that's currently available in the shop, then maybe wait. I actually like this middle skin quite a bit. This witch skin, also very nice. And these jack o lantern skins, not too bad either. I think this middle skin is probably my favorite one out of the bunch. Now, this is going to be a brand new dungeon that will be coming out just for Halloween. As you see, we're going to be riding on in here on a pumpkin mount. We're going to clear the dungeon and get cosmetic rewards from this. As you can see right here, this is a pumpkin morph right here. It will be just like one of those little special morphs. We'll be using that, looks like, to clear the dungeon at some points. And let's pause right here. This is going to be a little close up of this skin. So as you can see, this skin is actually really cool. And as you see, there is actually new patterns on these skins as well, it looks like. And this right here is going to be brand new fishing event right here. The sweet life, when you go fishing, you'll have a chance of getting, or possibly even guaranteed of getting, who knows yet, but we'll be getting new, it'll be basically candy fish that will help us create brand new dishes. <coughs> As you see right here, it's like a fruit roll-up candy fish. Now right here, this is going to be the sweet life. We're gonna go ahead and be getting new limited time meals that you can create during Halloween. If these meals are very strong, you might have a good chance of making some Lucent during this time, so keep in mind that. This right here is going to be an event where you can run around the town getting some buffs. Looks like we got some new emotes as well, and some brand new followers. And that is pretty much it for the whole entire event. So let's go ahead and go over all of that again. It looks like these are going to be the cosmetic rewards right here that we're going to be receiving from the dungeons. And in the middle, this goes heads and shows you guys the fish that you can be collecting, some little candy fish. Looks like you got the three common ones and then a big rare fish. And you'll be able to eventually be able to turn that into some tasty food, which will probably give some very strong buffs. And for those of you don't, who don't know, if you roll a great success while you're trying to craft some food, you have a good chance of selling that for a good amount of Lucent since there won't be many of these in the game. So those of you who've been keeping up with your cooking, you might be able to make some good Lucent during this event. And then this last part right here is just telling you guys about the buff event. 
which is you're going to be running around saying trick or treat to all of the little NPCs around the villages and getting various different buffs. And that is pretty much it for the new upcoming Throne and Liberty event for Halloween. Now, let's see what's going on over in the Throne and Liberty Reddit. Now, my man Toasty over here has written down a whole entire list of all of the daily things that you need to do in Throne and Liberty, which is very helpful for those of you who are just logging in and doing your dungeons and not knowing what else there is to do in the game. My friend over here says, do you go ahead and do those guild donations? That's the very first thing you should do when you log in. I agree. Make sure you do those guild donations. Get that thing starting to roll again. Go ahead and head on over to that house and send those expeditions out. If you're lucky, you might be able to get that Kraken fishing rod, just like I said in the beginning of the video. Do world events. Then we can also go ahead and do the contract manager, do all your contract quests to get more abyssal tokens, do your dimensional circle tokens, your daily merchant items, your daily guild merchant items. This is a big one, guys, the daily merchant items. Make sure even if you only have two minutes to play, just log in and buy those dailies. They help a lot, specifically the cooking ones and the guild merchant ones. You don't want to miss out on those free purple materials. Those are very, very important. It only takes 30 seconds to log in and buy those things at the bare minimum. If, if you guys can just try to grab those items. Now we also have the secret dungeons, fish cook cell. That's a good way to make a little bit more lucent. What does that mean? You fish it, then you cook it. And then if you get a great success, which is about like what? 12% chance you can then sell that for lucent. My favorite thing to try to cook is the golden apple pies. If you're lucky, you can sell that for around 80 lucent and that adds up after a while. We also can extract and sell drops that you will be getting from your dungeons and your codex tasks, which I, I'm going to be real, I don't do the codex tasks. Now, another thing that's very important that he lists right here that might sound a little bit too much right here is he has his whole entire build written out. Weapon, armor, head, every item that he's going to be maxing out. He has the traits that he wants. All of this is something you all need to be doing. It might sound a little excessive, it might sound a little crazy, but Throne in Liberty is a very punishing game, guys, where if you build a piece of armor and then later on you realize, oh, I don't want to use this piece of armor, it's going to be very difficult for you and also very expensive for you to then change that armor into something different. So if you're leveling up a purple and then you realize later on, ugh, I don't want to use this purple anymore, well, you just wasted tons of Lucent on upgrading your max health on an item that you're going to end up throwing away. So that's personally a mistake I made and I would recommend everybody to go over to this site right here, over here. We go on over to max roll right here and we can go ahead and go into build guides. And this is where you guys should start planning out your builds. I recommend going ahead and clicking whatever weapon that you're using. For example, we'll say we're gonna use a great, great sword. It's got plenty of good builds right here and more importantly, I like to just use this as a guide and then go ahead and go on over to TLP Planner, TL Planner, my bad. <laughs> and what this is right here is this lets you guys make your own builds. So for example, my build is a crossbow dagger build, right? So I'll go ahead and just throw in a crossbow for my weapon right here. We'll go ahead and throw that in and on our weapon, we'll go ahead and scroll on down to daggers and then we can select the daggers. And then we simply just go ahead and select our gear that we plan on using for the end game. I have a phantom wolf mask, so I'm throwing that on. And then you just keep filling that in with all of the different equipment. And as you see, as you throw your gear into the little planner, it starts to increase your stat points over here. So this way you can start planning ahead and being like, okay, well, I already got my 30 decks and my 20 perception. Maybe I'm trying to aim for 60 perception to get some more hit chance. So how am I going to do that? Do I need more perception on my boots? Can I get it more on my rings? All of that can be seen over here. And if you scroll over each piece of the of the rings, you can see exactly what the stats are. So you could be like, OK, I'm just missing. I want to get nine more perception. So we'll go ahead and go to the ring. Let's see if any of these rings give good perception. This right here, Band of the Chosen One, we'll go ahead and select that ring. And then unfortunately it doesn't tell you exactly how to grab it from here. So then I would just 
proceed to then Google this ring and I'll then go farm this ring or just buy the lithograph on the auction house. And like I said, it might sound a little crazy, but you just go ahead and pump this in and plan your final gear out. That way you don't level up the wrong tunic and then later on be like, oh, I needed that four strength to hit 50 strength for my build. So I just wasted all of that Lucent powering up the wrong chess piece. I actually ended up doing that with a few items. So go ahead and hop on over to that website and throw in that gear and start doing those planners, guys. It's a little bit better than writing it all down word for word, hand by hand, but whatever works for you guys. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.